Are you ready for this? We're here! Hey Hi, what's your name? I'm Joe Fowler. Hi, I'm Ron Popeil. That shows anybody? Hi, what's your name? I'm Tom Purvis, trainer to the trainers. And Hi, I'm Mike Levy. Hold on to your power rod. But wait. What are you doing? Call now. Call now. Call now. Call now. Call, now. Call or log on now. Call now. Call right now. Call in the next 18 minutes. Call in the next 16 minutes. Call in the next 7 minutes. Call these numbers right now. Hello and welcome to Call Now, where we plunge headfirst into the surreal world of infomercial. And while we can't offer you free shipping, we can guarantee that the views and opinions expressed on this podcast are definitely those of this network. Thank you, Tim. Watch your step. Tripped a little, but you're okay. And we're okay. My name is Dan Sturvin. I'm joined, as always, by my co-host on this three men we've known as Call Now. And I can promise everybody listening and watching right now that you'll be amazed by the brain power of Mark Padrati. Hello, Mark. Hey, my uh, little nerdy this evening. Oh, you're looking good, though. You'll need your glasses. I know how smart you are. And nobody crunches numbers like Dark Roast Dave Sandrini. Sips up. Hey, Dave. Hey, hey, I took care of that thing you asked me to take care of. <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> well guys once again it is watch party time and i know that you know there's been some things that are weighing heavy on our minds and i felt like it was time for a special treat for all of us okay we're gonna get back to our roots here on call now revisit the call now canon and we're gonna learn how to expand the power of our minds with the power of the human calculator. The following oh. special program, Amazing Discoveries, is a oh, paid man, we're back at it. Ooh, in its amazing I love this. Oh, boy. Coming up next on Amazing I, Discoveries, I, we'll show I, you how to turn on the human calculator. I'm Dweeb Levy. Great logo. Scott Discoveries, Flansburg. Mike Levy. Oh, Welcome. that's Mike. Welcome. I want you to meet a friend of mine who is fondly <laughs> referred to as the human calculator. Fondly. Let's see why. Scott Flansburg. Fond- Fond- 497 Fond- times uh, 35. Whoa. What is that? 17,395. <laughs> right How many career home runs does he have? Scott, here's a hard one. What's 4,000? I love you in Moneyball. Uh, divided by. <laughs> yeah, he kind of looks what like. What is that? 625.57142. Wow, right out to all those decimal points. Jonah Hill, Jonah Hill from Moneyball <laughs> and Rock Hill mixed together. What if he had a different ourselves? calculator? How many in oh. studio audience have more decimal places. been frustrated or intimidated by math? How many people here? Me, I'm, I'm Me too. crazy. But you know, Geometry the interesting thing is, that was it. do they have desks math young as a child, in the front row? It can actually slow down or stop is it kids in the audience? It can in school uniforms? So I was paying attention. And aren't we tired Uh-oh. of hearing how America's educational system is falling apart? How other countries is Mike going to so war with China right now? Is it happening? Yeah. No. Uh-oh. Today's amazing discovery is going to turn all that around. Not if you buy this product. Our special guest says that he's, by the he's end leaving of the, the troops, show, but... everyone in our audience and you at home are going to be able to do complex mathematical calculations, not on paper and not with an old-fashioned calculator, but in your head. Scott, what? how is this possible? Mike, is this a system? You got a system for doing today, calculators? I'm going to show you Whoa. and everyone watching how to tap into this power we have deep down inside us, and we just don't know how to turn it on. All right. That would be great. Uh, but before you get started, like we have one of our famous amazing <laughs> discoveries challenges just for you. Are you ready? The Galooly ready, Brothers? Mike. Okay. A while back, <laughs> it's the Scalari Brothers. Gary Collins' yeah. home show. And by the end of the show, 22,000 people phoned in and admitted that they were poor in math. And we've invited four of them to join us here on today's... Oh, they called in to say they were bad at math? across the nation. They're from Florida, from California, and even all the way from Alabama. Welcome, everyone. Uh, yep, now, of course, the- Alabama. Hey, you want to try the, the button Alabama thigh? Slammers. You want to try the button thigh doer? Anybody want to try the button thigh doer? <laughs> <laughs> who is a, yeah, who is a bigger... Uh, <laughs> Who is a more obvious plant, this group or Cindy and, uh, and Jenny? Uh, are, are we sure the shorter one doesn't have her hand... Up the back is like a ventriloquist <laughs> puppet on the <laughs> one on the left. Are we sure? This is my daughter, Kathy. <laughs> Ouch, That'd Charlie. be really fucked up. That's right. <laughs> I'd actually be really happy if that's if that's what happened. I'm happy. Anyway. Um, I, what are you I, I don't think that's Sam the case. 
Sam and Eric. Sam and Eric. Um, guys, we got we got Levy. He's back. I hope this makes everyone feel a lot better. It's better. Do we want to talk about Scott Flansburg's mullet now? Later, is it just too obvious? Should we move on? I mean, I'm here for you guys, but it seems like it's pretty important and prevalent mm. and meaningful. Is he going to put a batting um, helmet on at all? At any point? Oh, man. It's a perfect mullet. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Is, I was just thinking, that I was like, it is beautiful? Yeah, it's a perfect mullet. I've never been interested in mullets. All right. Uh, sure. You know? <laughs> like, I think, like, I think uh, I, I'm more of a mustache person than a mullet. Like, I saw the mustache. We've always said that about you. Yeah. Yeah. Dave, how mustache. do you get a perfect... How do you get a perfect mullet? There's time that you cook. Uh, you use a you use a cutting system. The temperature you cook you it at. Hair system, you use know. The cutting system. Steak pot. Practice, practice, practice. You know. The mullet's back, by the way. You guys know this. You read the internet. Just take a look on the. It internet. can go, but yeah. Wow. I mean, I've only read about think... mullets back. I haven't seen any, but yeah. All right. Um, it's it's on Reddit. It's a, if there's people reading Reddit. So you they know it's real. Yeah. Has there ever been anything that started on Reddit that wasn't true? Mm, I don't think so. Didn't think so. Yeah. <laughs> no. Do you guys think that our math skills have a chance to actually improve during this? I didn't really want to try, but maybe. All right. You know, maybe passively. Maybe we can learn by osmosis. Jones? Okay. Now, here's the challenge. Scott claims that by it? the end of today's show, he's going to have you all doing complex math calculations in your head. Are you ready for that? Whoa, I missed okay, this guy. I think I right. wore a suit jacket. Oh, no, Mike, I'm not going to do it. I've got to do this show with you. So what I did was I brought a friend with me that's going to take him backstage during the show and teach him how to do everything. Okay, Stop bring that. out Scott's he's, friend. He's Kevin, come camera. on. Ian. I need Kevin. Oh. <sighs> Wait a minute. This is my least favorite age. This boy. is me from the past. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> my sh- I can't believe that. Yeah, Mike, that's just it. This program is so easy. Anybody can learn it. It doesn't matter how young or old you are. Are you sure you can do this? <laughs> Man, amazing okay, discoveries can switch it up, can't they? Train them. We'll check back with you later. They're all over the map. Yeah. Everyone is that thing solid gold? Wow. From Scott. Okay, but just to make oh. it interesting. Whoa. We've enlisted what? the help of Ray Gaten. Now, Ray Gaten is a certified public accountant from a nationwide accounting name? firm, Panel Curve Forester, and he's here I to love check Scott's firm? accuracy. Accounts he's going to follow Scott this guy hates his adding machine here. And Scott, for every correct answer. Whoa, we're going man versus now. machine. We love these. Yeah. Yeah. Scott, should you give us a wrong answer, Ray's going to give you one of these. Hey, okay, you can right. keep that and one. Oh, he didn't like really that. No. Problems, we have an entire Girl Scout troop here in our audience. Troop number yep. 1525 from Van Nuys, California. And they're going to give you some really tough problems, Scott. Are you ready? I'm ready, Mike. That but is one of my favorite Girl Scout here, troop um, stereotypes, is they like, always give out the hardest math hands. problems. <laughs> they always say that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, a big long row Samoas? of three digit Where numbers the... to add up. Give him four yeah. three digit numbers cookie? and Scott's going to add them in his mm-hmm. head. Go ahead. 333 plus 454 plus 699 plus 999. <laughs> and okay. I got to give you one too. Here's one 984 3469. <laughs> right <up. laughs> They're just throwing numbers at him. Yeah. Sure, well, and they're just what editing whatever they want. Cassie, let's give him a hard division problem. How about a four-digit number divided by a single-digit number? 5,973 divided by 7. 853.2857142. Whoa. His rounding was off. His rounding was off. Hey, Mike, you know who would love this? If I could, could you have the girl who? that gave me an addition problems? I want to bring her down here. Go down there. Yeah. You can try to do it. Okay, Jared Chivers would, okay, and what's your name? would adore this. Patricia. Special guest, Will Jared Chivers, or or maybe on the uh, on the deep dive. Right I'm sure he's available. Yeah. If he doesn't oh, listen, yeah, I'm, good call. Call. I'm done with him. But I want to show you a yeah. really easy way he to might hate it. Answer, okay? He might go, this is baloney, now, bro. Of starting over Shout here, out let's you. start on the left-hand side. In this one right here, Shout out you, yeah. Shout out having stand fun for? at your apartments. <laughs> okay, so now let's keep it's a running total in our heads, circle. okay? What's 100 plus 200? 300. Plus another 100. 400. Right, plus 200 more. 600. Okay, now let's go to the top of the next column, which is a 10, Two. right? So this... Two tens stands for 20. Good job. So add it to 600, and what do you get? 620. Plus 20 more. 640. Plus 20 more. 660. Plus 10 more. 670. Okay, now go to the top of the ones. What's 670 what? plus what 3? What is he doing that's different than addition? Plus 6 more. I wasn't paying attention. Plus 1. 
680. And four more. 684. Uh, 684. Shiv, right can answer. I like get out of here? <laughs> 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 can I get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to get lunch with Shiv. This is a real hard division problem. I want to show her how to do something else. This is a system, Dave. You're right. Yeah, I told you. Is he gonna yeah, is he gonna teach him how to count cards by the end of this? This is just like math class. Now I'm like, okay, this time we're gonna pay. He's gonna like stay <laughs> stay at the Luxor like, right next to the uh, emergency <laughs> exits. Yeah. Okay, so what you do is you put minus five underneath, and what yes. do you get? What's ninety five minus five? Ninety. Ninety. I mean, ninety. You had it. You had it. Yeah. Sorry. Right. And now take this number here and square. What's five times five? 25. Easy, and 25. bring it right down here, and that's the answer to 95 times 95. 9,025. Oh, is shit, can I do that for any five number? Okay, what? 96 squared. That means 96 oh, times boy. 96. Same thing? Now, how we do, do the do same it? thing? Okay, 96 from 100 is 4. So you four. Minus 4. Minus 4, and what do you get? 92. Okay, write that down. Now what do I do? Square the four, which is sixteen. What? This one's 96. different, though, wasn't it? Great. And what's the answer? To no, it's the same thing. Nine thousand three hundred. If it's a two-digit oh, number, you do it less oh, from yeah, hundred. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pay attention, Dave. Right on. Congratulations. <laughs> I got it. How do you right on. That? Mike, I see thousands of kids, parents, and teachers every week, and I see Wait, the same results. Where do you get the two? Where do you get the two again? from the ninety-two? Well, we want to see those results for ourselves. Ah, shit. This is going too fast. This is exactly like math class. All right, is Ian gonna come in? Where Scott's been teaching uh, and yes. having some pretty amazing results. All right, Nicole, we have your math book. Do your workbooks now. And I'm like, shit, you're really screwed up. You ready? What's mm. uh, Is that TI-83 plus? No. no. Plus three some Mario on that. Plus TI-83 minus, I think. What is that? <laughs> 1,364. That's correct. That's really good. Sounds pretty easy, thanks. That was easy? Burn. Yeah. All right, Kyle. What's hey, Kyle. Kyle. Times I can't stand this kid already. Killer Kyle. No, I like him. 2,328. <laughs> That's right. It takes me longer to put in the calculator. Mike's hair is different. Right, Carly, your problem is 90. Look at that kid in the back. Square. Look at that Bouchard back there. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa. You're right. <laughs> Very good. Okay, here's Whoa, different. hey, back up. What is the you watch out for this guy. Another and mullet, yeah, straight mullet. back. He's the one who has the car. You think it's going to be head. another guy, but it's actually him. He's the one. It's Aberman. <laughs> you guys watch Mighty Ducks? Yeah. 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 58. <laughs> 58, you did. <laughs> he hates <laughs> having the camera on him because well, he wants to scratch his really balls. Impressed us. <laughs> so we it's a nice bridge over there at Arizona State. We got to discover why Scott's methods are so successful. What's the endowment looking like? Dr. Mary He's Hattie, Hattie, you're an assistant professor here at Arizona State University, and you've been a director of the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics, representing literally thousands of math teachers from around the country. And you have books I mean, on your walls. Teaching teachers this is, what to yeah. teach and is how this the first time Mike's now, been in the field? Scott's methods proper? are really very different than the They went to the lady's that, house right? one time yes, when she needed her cabinets redone the the QRB. Remember that? Remember that? Remember that? Little and him and Lynn ambushed her strangely. Yeah. They must have had fun, man. This looks like a fun the thing that they did. And Scott's way is to take know, those numbers and that say, fun. hey, no, put but I mean, like, apart, they did, put them back together, try this, the production has this, a different approach, that, and all like, every time, which is kind of cool. That are just procedures for, for this dude just kids came up with learn. stuff. Scott makes did you like that shot right there? He, he gives yeah, the love students it. a feeling that I, I have power over these numbers. I can do something with these numbers. And I don't have to do it just one right way. And mm. that gives a, a student that's a lot economic, of that's uh, economical. feeling of confidence. If, if the math anxiety what is the design of her shirt like? And, and I constellations, think really turning small on constellations. Kind of, of it's of early '90s constellations. That's what it's called. Just imagine the advantage that these kids are going to have for the what rest are these of their men and life. women going to do. I thought that Stamos was wearing a dress, but it's the you know, lady's dress that's cutting in front of him. I couldn't see it that way. Oh wait, no, I can't. We flew Carla and her aunt Diana here to our It's like the arrow and the FedEx logo. Now you can't unsee it. Another tough problem. You ready? You ready, Carla? Okay, but just to show everyone that you oh, have... Oh, it's Carly no Guadrina. This is her first hand. credit. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing up <laughs> her sleeves. No sleeves. <laughs> oh. Here's a tough one. I'm going to give you... No sleeves. 73... That's strange strange for me because I always wear a sweater. 73 Bellas. times 73. <laughs> What's the answer to that? 5,329. Wow. Shit, I didn't do it again. You did it just as fast. I don't Carla's think those, Diana, uh, that's those buttons amaze work. You. It does amaze me. Um, last evening, she was showing me a little bit about how to do it, and... I couldn't believe how easy Scott's methods were. So once you catch up, did you have an informal hard. barbecue? Scott looks like adults like <laughs> straight through my ribs. Right, my, my program <laughs> gives parents the opportunity to help their children, but more importantly, help themselves. If you paused it right here, so much you, you started it right there and paused it, you'd be like, "Oh, this guy's a boxing coach." You know, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking wrestling, but yeah, yeah, yeah. he they're, gets up close. He's selling tomahawk <laughs> sticks. <laughs> he's like the cut of my tomahawk. I got some uh, fillets. I love that guy. Shout out to that guy this, that Mark and I are talking guy? about that you don't know. No, the guy with the tomahawk <laughs> steaks. The cook, the Instagram Trump steaks. Cook. Carl Chapamatic. Oh. oh, oh, we're talking. Wait, salt. No, the Italian, the Italian guy whose son keeps interviewing him, and he's like, oh, "These beautiful tomahawk steaks." Linda, Linda, yeah. Linda. How about Shout out that guy who we can't tag. Oh, man. Wendy's, matter. you go to Wendy's. <laughs> we'll get you on TikTok. What's Wendy's? Yeah, yeah. Go to Wendy's. He looks. I mean, can you imagine walking into your first day of math class and having Mister Flansburg at the front of the class? <laughs> Are we early or something? I just be like. Yeah. Can't believe I got Flansburg. This is gonna suck so bad. Well, I think I'm gonna cause. I'm gonna be such a disruption. <laughs> I don't think he could. I don't think he could do it because, like, he would have kicked kids out, and you can't do that in school. Like, he would have been like, "You're done. You're out." <laughs> you could back done. then. You're done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> throw chalk. Throw rulers. Get out. Go. Go, man. He's yeah, like, you're right. He's yeah. like, I give everybody ten minutes first class to drop me, and you get a you get a passing grade. <laughs> yeah. You're taking it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. I, I try. You make it look easy. Let me try. That's all important school is. And that's important to me. Oh, wow. I mean, I know. I, I saw. Yeah. That's true. Tina Jansen. Now, you finished high school, but, but you didn't go on to there, college. Oh. That's right, Jesus. Mike. Oh, math geez. was real hard for me in math. high school, and it was very discouraging. So you were obviously intimidated to go on to college. Math killed now, my father and you beat my sister without work. mercy. <laughs> you said math? No math. Why was that? Well, I married my sister in Arizona, yeah. needed the extra income. <laughs> and everyone knows if you're going to get a good job, you need math skills. Yeah, you just true. That is not Scott's true. And, come on, don't be modest. Tell us what happens here. This is America. With Scott's method, it gave me the courage and confidence and billions. to accept a job. In a big hospital dealing thousands with thousands and thousands of dollars every day. Really? That's From right. frustration to dealing with thousands of dollars? Now, what are you, in the accounting department or something? In the billing department. Fantastic. In the Italian department Tina, or something? congratulations. Tina, can we test oh. you? Sure. We got a great test for Tina. Now, how many times have you gone to the market and you build up one. the basket and you take it to the cash <laughs> register and you never knew how much money you spent until you got there? And sometimes that can be pretty embarrassing, right? Happened to you? Well, Tina mm, here. I mean, I usually have a, a rough idea. Cash register. Watch it. <laughs> I mean, they, they have a. Re- I mean, they count it up for you. Actually, you don't have to do it up there. They they do it. It's, oh man, she's this poor lady. A dollar nine. I would just I would just round up. And two dollars and seventy nine cents. Tina, she writing it down? How much money have we spent so far? Nine dollars and fifty eight cents. Wow. The accountant says yes, baby. You see the accountant the watch. I hate Mike, those buttons and his watch. But that's just one and example of how math can open doors for adults <laughs> and their careers. <laughs> the accountant? Yeah. Whoa. Mark, you okay? Now, Something now, happened? Manson. Mark, do you You're like um, me Jefferson Flansburg or whatever his name is? With math. Oh, Mike, I'll tell you. I yeah, he's the only one I like. Through high school, well, I you like him, college. this guy? He uh, looks so like uh, a... No shout out Irishman. He looks like... I'm a commercial litigator in Fairfax, Virginia. And I use the lawyer in the Every Irishman. single day yeah, now. It's, uh, why yeah, can't Bill, you just Bill use the calculator? Bill Buffalina? <laughs> yeah. I need the edge. I got to be quick. I want to give the number to the judge, to the jury, and to a public oh, counsel. Even during negotiations, you want to whip that number out. Well, give me an example. Gotta whip it out. How do you use math in the courtroom? You gotta whip it out. Yeah, well, I'll tell you. When I discovered... When I go over the Queensboro Bridge, I like to think... Me the hey, the what's the city going to do for me? To get those answers out. Let's assume that my client <laughs> owes you $11 million. I can handle that. I don't Whoa. want to handle it. So I say, Mike, look, if you're going to torture a place, don't tell me about it. Hurry up. I'm going to give you five point eight million dollars. Don't, don't, don't tell me about oh, you burning okay. down the restaurant. Hey, Joe, and hey I'll you tell you what the kids are lawyer. Sorry, you need I'm a criminal lawyer. I want 78%. I'm not a businessman. $8.58 million. Glossy in court. So Dave, I hate to correct you. Uh, he will not be going over the Queensboro Bridge. Uh, he'll be going uh, across the Beltway because he's in Fairfax, Virginia. So, do you think this guy is like going to the Pentagon and litigating? Do you think he's got clearance? Take a look. Well, he's got the confidence too. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't think he's, confidence over clearance. I don't think he'd be intimidated by going into the Pentagon and telling these guys that they're spending too much money. Man. Ooh, do you think he wears right? a mask in the Pentagon now? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. No, he wears an Indian headdress. <laughs> how far away are you, Georgetown? Oh, Mike, that's just one like example minutes, of how right? math can definitely increase <laughs> yeah. your income. So, yeah, this well, guy give a shit. Is a business major at Arizona State <laughs> University. Now, a business major, you have to be good in math, don't you? 
Well, I didn't used to be. Oh. I didn't like math very much because I was. Wow. I can't wait to find all these people on LinkedIn. I was the last one done with my test. <laughs> that can be embarrassing, huh? Yeah, that's for sure. For some reason, Mike was really. All, all of them are dead. Get my business for some reason. Oh. Like you said, oh. Oh. Amy Grau's a good hang, so probably. When you discover I think. Scott's methods. Math became a lot easier because sure, the I pads are sweet. the yeah. problem yeah, they are right sweet. in my head, yeah. which made it a lot more fun back. for me. Just got bigger shoulder pads than Ed McCaffrey. Can we give you a little <laughs> Easy, Ed. Okay, now you're a mm -hmm. business major, which means that someday you want to own Ed. your own company, right? Yeah, a couple of them. <laughs> a couple of them. A couple of companies. Well, let me give you a, Reagan. a Hashtag for Reagan. one company. It has 151 employees in it. And every one of these employees so makes... Newsmax, yeah. it's called trickle down and economics, okay? Up, Amy, <laughs> what is your total payroll going to be on Friday? $57,682. What do you think of that, right Saddam Hussein? Amy, you can do our payroll anytime. Now, Zach, we saw you in the remote piece. You're the young guy who taught me what the cube was. Whoa, Averman's back. Yeah. In your head. Yeah. Now, Zach brought his mom with this guy. Janelle. Mr. Mom, Steel, your girl right there. Yeah, I like him too. Oh, it's Zach Miller, tight end, that's University of Virginia. Yeah. Good hands. On the calculator. Cavaliers. No, right I think that was Heath Miller. <laughs> oh, Zach Miller. You know, it's also increased his self confidence and his self esteem, too. Oh, oh. no, he's yeah, really no help with that. He's like a Ryan Levy vest. He looks like a guy in Bandersnatch. Look over there. Here you see a bunch oh, of yeah. on the outside of the envelope. Pac-Man's not happy. Uh, inside these envelopes Midsomer. are pieces yes. of paper with the correct Mark day Nelson. of the Dude. week that these dates fall on. And Scott, there's some sort of a relationship where you can We're the Millers. In your mind. His name is Miller. Right, Mike, it's about him. Yeah. Nailed it. Full circle. Back or forward, as uh, far Will Poulter. It takes about name. 10 minutes to learn. Yeah. But we're going to see how fast Zach Let's get Will on the show. Because I'm going to throw a dart at these Man, this guy is confident. He's got that that pimpling. Yeah, he does. If Zach could come up with the answer quickly in his head. Top of the class. This is what thug-ass kids dress like. What's the other 1990. Week <laughs> uh, Saturday. Uh, Saturday. Wow. And if we don't have a calendar to check it, it doesn't matter. Boom. I completely missed this thing. Tuesday. Hey, Evan, you and Tim have to fact check every one of these dates and calculations for next show. Okay? Thank you. I need dinner. If not, you guys are. We've seen square roots, cube roots, of adding, division. All done in Blonde your roots. I'm really impressed with this, Scott. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Mike, I'm glad to see you're amazed with all the techniques Jeez. I've shown you so far. But what I teach goes a lot deeper than that. You see, my program not only shows people how to do better in math, I love this it also guy. boosts your self confidence and self esteem. Today, at the beginning of the show, if I told you and everyone it's watching, like an that you'd be adding up columns of numbers really in your head and no scoring way. large yeah. numbers in your head. You'd say no way, but now you can do it. Golic, the third Golic brother. We three Golics. He's he's Golic. If you're a student struggling with math, my program will help. If you're a parent or grandparent frustrated because you can't help your children, I'll show you how you can help. And if you're a Mike in the morning, he's running from math. No, no, it just. I think Golic recently got got the can finally. He's gone. Go Joe's there. Yeah, there was a great quote. I forget what it, it was. Something amazing about Golik, like just basically saying, "He's like, yep, nobody liked me." Oh, and that was it. It's, yeah, it's like, oh, hey, listen, you can always just look at all of that money you got paid for the last fifteen years of having an awful radio show, yeah, nationally syndicated. And you know what? I wouldn't mind the lack of love. You know, I think I'd be okay with I it. I had no frame yeah. of reference. Seems like his kids like him. You know, yeah. for like if his show was good or not. Like I was like, oh, it's a stupid. It was, it was fine. It was fine. Yeah. It was national. It was, it was, it was hotel show. room morning fodder. That's what it was meant for. Yeah. It's like get on up. ESPN H because you're not home, so put ESPN on the TV. Never no, turn it off. Yeah, it, it stays on even when you're not here. Let the cleaners the clean. turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> Pre podcast, you know. Yeah. yeah. Wow, these yeah. ratings are amazing. Yeah. <laughs> In New York Every City. hotel just has it running. It's like, oh, nice. Oh, wow, that's great. Yeah, oh, I didn't. Even, I didn't even. like when they, when they split up Mike and Mike. I liked it when it was Mike and Mike because I knew the flavor of bad fodder I was gonna get, yeah. and that's what I needed when I was hung over in a hotel room. Mm -hmm. And then they put Wingo on, who I actually like, and I was like, well, but now I don't want to listen to him because I actually want to pay attention. I'm trying to shittily iron a shirt before I have a meeting, mm -hmm. and it threw off everything. So bad job by bad job by Greenberg for forcing his way out. I like old Wingo. Old Wingo. Yeah. That's my favorite brand of used SUVs and trailers is old Wingos. Oh They're not bad. Yeah. Look at this still that you no limit on. to what we can do. 
Uh, Eric Stilson. <laughs> Eric Stilson. I can't wait for some of the voiceover puns. Yeah. This guy threw his heat. There's some good outfits in the audience right now. Looks like he smokes heat, too. All this and more when we come back. An amazing discovery. Take a dead gravel. This reads like Mike Levy is like, I I like math. I want to do a math one. And everyone's like, well, you're the fucking boss. Now you Go can turn it. on the human Whoa. calculator inside of you yeah. and I, get the I right I caught that already. Shut up, me catching that earlier. Seconds. Check Throw the tape. Away that clumsy calculator. No more pesky pencil and paper. He said and you no can turn on the human calculator. That's Scott's nickname. Right so. Wow. You can okay. impress your friends pencils. by doing even the most difficult math problems. Wait, was she doing making a cowboy? On the, on the light, you said? It's so easy. Even a child can do it. Thousands of students all across America are turning on their human calculators. All right, Nicole, right. you have your math book and notice He's how back I have again to the calculator for this. You ready? It's Let's a paid start. advertisement. Here we go. I'm, I'm out at this point. 385 plus 517. What is that? But it's cool. 1, it's no different. 364. Yeah. That's Close. correct. Close. That's really good. Um, that was was that last easy. number? That was easy. Oh, it's the same one. All right, Kyle. What's this guy? Look at this guy. Looks like Dennis the Menace. Kyle. He looks like he's a little older. He cleaned up his shit. Matt Ryan is Kush behind like him? Matt Ryan. Uh, and Kush is right behind him. Yeah. Kush. Kush. This kid. Square. He was in the Goonies, right? He's the kid who plays Split End who's really good who doesn't give a shit. Lost Boys? Yeah. yeah. If you're a parent or a grandparent who's frustrated because you can't help your children master math. Whoa, she looks like Jordan Belfort's like man Doc girl methods. you know i fucking love you jordan mathematically and after all <laughs> thinking is the key shout out palm springs she's great and man. just Katie. for fun you can amaze your friends by telling them the day of the week they were born on in just seconds when you order oh, cool. your complete human Please calculator graphic. system you receive four is that a valuable thing that is to know the day of the week complicated math problems of any right yeah. yeah. of any date in history math. why is that valuable i don't know but did you just start inside of the best value proposition you'll come up with the right answers faster than you ever dreamed possible to get the complete human calculator shout out next week how many okay, cassettes are in there? Have your credit card Crash ready kill. Call free. Wait, isn't this just a torrent right now? Order now to receive your Damn, what do you know about Crest Kill, New Jersey? Including the four power Not enough. I know they got P.O. I know they got P.O. boxes for days. I don't know where. I can't picture where Crest Kill is. If only there was a tool that I could utilize to help locate where a city was. Uh, damn, someday they'll, they'll be invested. Use the human calculator. I can tell you what day of the week Cresco was founded on. <laughs> you have to add the phone number with the address. And I think it gives you the latitude and longitude. Let's check in backstage and see how Kevin's doing teaching Scott's methods to our backstage. Who is challenges. Kevin? Kevin, you're playing around. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, Why Kevin is a joker. Now? He's got all Scott, sorts of jokes. You're done teaching. You're done teaching already? Yeah. Well, we're going to test all you people. Are you going to be ready for these people? They love COVID. See the guy in the yeah. back with this newspaper? <laughs> all yeah. right. You see how they get those we're shots? We're going to you later on. These are, <laughs> these are good people. Here. I want you to hear a very emotional story. With a very happy uh -oh. on this set. Louise Rubanen, you're a juvenile probation officer. Uh -oh. You're a delinquent. For children that have been given up on by society and sometimes by their parents. Is this give them the Reagan pitch. Just become give them the Reagan pitch. Themselves. They have yeah. no <laughs> self-esteem. Yeah. And, one thing and they have to pull themselves up by their bootstraps. Let's go, Jesus. Yeah. You always look for that <laughs> and you're inspired, spark. obviously, by eraser. Scott head. and his system was that spark for some of my kids. <laughs> it's like Bobby, who had such Wait, tremendous... It's a new, it's a new group of people. His behaviors was a yeah, they got plenty of people. Bobby, you hated math? Oh, yeah. Mike, I really hated math. That's me. What would happen when the teacher... Bob Heron? Slapped down the sheet of problems with Bobby... It's you or Matt. I can't tell. Yeah. Well, if it would... I think it's hard, Matt. I, love I, to, I want to go to Mars <laughs> someday. You'd go to sleep. You must have really hated math. Yes, I hated it, Mike. And Scott, I understand, showed you a new way to think about math, right? But yeah. Scott is also and Matt. Show me... Yeah. Show me the new way. ...in our head than it was to do it on paper or Whoa. the way they taught orange. us. Really? And now you can do calculations in your head? Yes, Mike. Code orange. Can I give yes, you a Mike. Test? Sure. How much is uh, yes, sir. 22 times Look at this 12. man in the back with suspenders. Do you see this man? 200 mm -hmm. and... This is the first 64. guy I saw tonight. Thanks, man. Very good. Oh, nice job, Matt. Mommy's mom is with us also. Mom, that's got to make you feel very proud. Yeah, I am proud of him. Um, as Louise said, it's been a nightmare. Miss B. Bob's been in some special ed classes. Not because he wasn't able to do the work, but because he wouldn't do the work. God, I'm trying to and place this. He just flicked his microphone. Did you hear that? Yeah, well, he's like anxious. <laughs> it's like Maya Rudolph. Yeah, it is like Maya. Congratulations. Scott 
<laughs> trying to place her in a place and make it, it funny really and does. I can't like, figure out where she can do. Anybody else to that person. Too. And I want to it's show funny. you an amazing way to get the answer to problems really Yeah, go quick, to the okay? board. Right, There's I'm definitely ready. not enough Remember of him going to the board. The yeah. I, sh- I told you there were more than one way to get the answer. I love right, those shirts. That that 90s cut. Yeah. And you're squaring yeah, a lot of room. Times yeah. 35. I remember this. Here's the trick. The answer always ends in 25. It's guaranteed. It's got to be yeah, a 25. Five times five, 25. Okay. Now, here's how you get the first part of the answer. How do you do it? All you do is look at the first digit, which is a three. Sure. Just What's one more than three, Mike? Uh, four. four. So four. multiply three times four and you get 12. 12. 12. So the yeah. answer to 35 times 35 is 1225. 1, That's all there is to it? It's that easy. Oh, the light went. Yeah, it is. I, I wasn't sure. And then the light was green. I was like, ah. Oh, I'm going to yeah, turn around. You can't see this. Okay, right now, along. Mike, what's 65 squared? 65 times 65. Can I get back to you on that? <laughs> no, what do you know? 24, 22, 25. Okay, so it ends 25. in 5, so the, the end is 25. 25. There right? you go. What else? And then one more than the first number is 7, so 7 times 6. Oh, four, yeah. 4225, okay. right? And that's the answer, Mike. 4225. I'm a human calculator. Nice, Dave, man. you All suck. Right, when we come back, we're finally <laughs> going to see how Kevin's been doing That's with like our an hour, backstage though. challenges, and we're going to test him. All this and more when we come back on Amazing Discoveries. Look at this crew. It's a weird clap happening up there. Now you can turn on the human calculator inside of you and get the right answers to complicated math problems in just seconds. Throw away that clumsy calculator. Oh, no whoa. more pesky pencil Wait, and paper and no more endless hours there? of frustration. I love that. Right pesky thing. pencil. Now you can impress your no, friends doing There's even the most difficult math problems in your head. Often faster than a calculator. 1,858. School seal. Yeah. Crest, it's yeah. So it's a family Spanish family. flag. Can do it. Spanish Thousands flag. of students all across America are turning on to math by turning on their own human calculators. Excuse me, I'm an idiot. You have your math book, and notice how I have to use a calculator for this. You ready? What's uh, yeah, this one's really easy? Dumb idiot. Oh, kid in the pink behind her. One three yeah. six four. I want to kiss answer. her at the dance. One thousand three hundred sixty-four. <laughs> That's correct. That's really good. I'm good. That was pretty easy. Thanks. That was easy. Don't condescend right, him. He's a fucking TV show. Times ninety-seven. Kyle. Killer Kyle. Kyle's um, Killer Lemonade. Two thousand three hundred twenty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Shout, shout out 20th anniversary, anniversary super bad. All right, Carly, your problem is 90. <laughs> no, gold did I already say No, 15. Kids the split end on gold slick. Like, like, it's just like, I don't really want to play football anymore. <laughs> You're right. I heard that somewhere you before. Parent, okay, parent, right, sorry, right, who's frustrated right. because you can't help <laughs> your children you master Jordan. math. Don't despair. <laughs> Scott's methods give people the ability to... That's Paula's sister. Okay. After all... You mean worst person in this infomercial. And just for fun, you can amaze your <laughs> You mean as a person or as a person in the infomercial? In the infomercial, you order your of course. Human okay. I thought since she could be Paula Deen's relative, she might have been one of those parties, maybe had some decorating and theme ideas. We're going 2007 topical, baby. Now you'll come up with the right answers faster than you've ever Oh, shut that book. You're done. Nice Trapper Keeper. Trapper Keeper's sweet. I would love an Amazing Discoveries Trapper Keeper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. By ordering I bet now. they have. To your human Fish kill? System, no. Kill. Have your credit card ready. Call toll free. 1-800-847-2244. Sales Order now to receive your complete no. human calculator system, including no the four power packed audio cassettes and easy to follow. Cuddles on guide. delivery? Call 1-800-847-2244. Or, <laughs> or send check or money order. No call of duty. You have to do math. Box 440, Crestville, New Jersey, 07626. <laughs> include 495. No, what year is it? You or your child can be on the way. No kicks, you mess. Uh, 864-800-847-2244. <laughs> now. <laughs> like solar jam. Solar jam. Hey, we test day. our backstage challenges, I want you to meet the former state supervisor of mathematics for the entire state of Arizona. Hey, Dean. K. Dean. Why are you back? Oh, so Jesus! I'm so embarrassed. Wow. How long we as teachers have given students <laughs> drill and kill type activities, which weren't relevant to life. Drill and kill. What did you just say? Meaningful. All I think right. she said drill and kill. Kevin. Okay, Roll and bolt. Are they yes, ready? Yeah. You're sure about that? Uh, yeah. yeah. Can I yeah. catch them? Yeah. Okay. Tom, you're from Florida, and you admitted that you're not too good in math. If I give you a multiplication problem, can you do it in your head? It's Matt Dillon. Sure. Okay. What's up? Yeah. 103 <laughs> times 107. <laughs> 11,021. Uh. Thanks, Can you believe you did that? <laughs> now, Audrey, you're a college student. Can you do cube roots? Sure. Okay, I'm going to give you sure. a number, and you tell me what the cube yeah. root of that can number you, is. Can you relax her? Can you affirm? What's the cube root of 614,125? <laughs> she is done up for a college student. 85. All right. Very good. 
I hope nobody now, fails. Oh, had a boy. very special, important reason why she wanted to better her Nope, not a, not, not, a, not a puppet. <laughs> not a puppet. <laughs> I can see it. Pretty sharp not skills, a puppet. Right? Now, I can see the strings. You well, Gretchen, you better get this, Gretchen. You better. Amazing Gretchen, Gretchen, Gretchen will send you to space camp. On <gasps> How about oh, that? You ready? no pressure. I wish after she gets it right. I wish it was just send you to space. Plus 245 <laughs> plus 316. Now take your time. Space camp is riding on this. 715? NASA's riding on this. Yeah. They, they, they should have more dings for space camp. Right. That was right. really she was asking. This is fantastic. Mike, I told you and I've shown you. My I would definitely wear that shirt, by the way. The, the, pink, those glasses. <laughs> the ultra pink shirt. With this power, you can do anything. Yeah, yeah it's like it's like two thirds pink and one third salmon. <laughs> it's perfect. Look at him grab that kid and tell him how good he did. Yeah, he just like yanked him. I'm telling you, this guy's a wrestler too. Oh. Oh no. Oh, Scott like Flansburg and the audience have been remunerated for that participation. Know, guys, that one like flew that. by. I love it. Yeah, man, they're so good. Amazing. I I know it's a boring, a, bar, a boring one, right? But... It's no. Well, yeah. I mean, I guess it's boring because it's math. Oh, let's see. Verification of accuracy by the accounting firm of Pinnell Kerr Forster does not necessarily constitute an endorsement. Mm, okay, that's the guy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's just boilerplate right. bullshit from them, though. You know, they no, were all in <laughs> barbecues no. and bullshit. Barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, come on, clap, you're being weird. Staff of Amazing Discoveries would love to hear from Show us some fucking respect, huh? Hey, clap your fucking hands. Hey, Dean. Hey, Dean. Hey, Dean. Hey, Dean got traded to uh, the Brooklyn Nets. <laughs> oh, shit. She got traded for Flansburg? <laughs> hey, a classic Dean for Flansburg situation here. Man, it's a you're gonna make me sit in the, make me eat dessert by myself like fucking Scott Flansburg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Wow, I love it. I love That's it. mac and cheese made with love. I love sharks. What was the last amazing uh, we did? Pressing uh, problem. Power steamer. Yeah. A thousand years ago. Power power steamer. The hall of pressing. A thousand pack. years ago. Uh, yeah, for whatever reason, it hasn't really made its way back into the lexicon. It's that weird thing where I want to only do. A combination of Amazing Discoveries, Ron Popeil infomercials, and then everything that Stan has done, predominantly Joe Fowler. But for whatever reason, I try to like drip them out instead of just unkinking the hose and just only only doing those episodes for some reason. Well, I don't know. Well, we've gotten some good information through Stan. Stan. Uh, Stan. Stan, a little bit from Jan. Look how fast. And something else. Oh, and the uh, the one you showed us with. Weird Al, Buys lunch. where oh, Mike yeah. makes the pop-up. Yeah. So we've gotten a little yeah. taste here and there. They've been in the back of our minds. Ever so slightly blow on yeah. them. Hey, hey, I think this is this is hot. Wow, I'm not as hot yeah. as I used to be. I think okay. kids ruin info. Especially if you have children. Sure. I think young people ruin infomercials. I want to introduce to you my daughter, Shannon. Yeah, just, my other daughter, they're, Lauren. They're being, their parents yeah. are being sold to. My daughter is over and here. They're not being yeah. sold to. And they're just there, just like. Because we don't have the time. Kind of dumb idiots, like all the kids. What you'll find in the turkey yeah. frying chart. So, yeah, I'm okay it, with it. It's just not that fun. I'm okay it with it. The wrong I'll way. take my gloves off. I'm okay with it because it just shows me how willing and able Mike and crew are able to branch and out and hold the blue safety and he's handles. Like, I'll get 30 kids on here and we'll make a show out of it. So I'm with it for that respect. But yes, I don't think it's quite as entertaining as the power steamer. You're not, uh, well, no, yeah, caveman, that one, like they replaced the caveman with a kid. No, They're, yeah, like a, a I think, uh, Mark, I think you're sorry, conflating sorry. your power products. Sorry, sorry, okay. Sorry. I replaced I need, the guy. I need you to check your privilege. The guy popping and, um, out of the suitcase no. with kids. Mark, you have one unconscious bias. But your biceps that are ones that are Yeah, we need to talk about your strength as an ally because I think that you're falling into some bad habits right now. We need to talk okay. about Kevin. Jesse. I don't have a child. Uh -oh. I don't have a child. Especially if you have children. So you're you're immune from. I'm abandoning uh, my child. <laughs> I'm abandoning my boy. <laughs> Your kid's no prize. <laughs> I went and did a different thing. Sorry. What is that, um, Dan? Uh, that's in blow. Really blow on oh, it. Wow. Shout out Weymouth. Woo! Wow. Um. Right. Shout out, shout out uh, Kathleen Chivers. Two Chivers men mentioned on the show. Whoa! This is a double. This is a Chivers double shot. Yep. 
Shout out, shout out, Tyler. Happy birthday, kid. Oh, all right. Oh, my hey, God. We've been saying Reagan all episode. It's a Chivers Family Fiesta. Uh, <laughs> hey, we got to get... We have to get Mr. Jared James Chivers. Uh, yeah, this feels like... You're absolutely right. This yeah. feels like a very day, very Dave Chivers situation. Yeah. Uh, no, no, not that his name is Dave Chivers, but your name is Dave and his name is Chivers. Yeah. It's science. It's a, that's um, a good title. Dave Chivers. Dave Chivers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're I like his, that. you'd be his boy anyways. He, I could see him holding you. Hold on to your power. Yeah. <laughs> We'd just be like, we big like, Chiv, where's your fucking boy? Where's your boy? Um, yeah. But yeah, so did you guys ever see, there's a show, uh, Stan Lee's Superhumans. It was a History Channel program for a short period of time. It's proper Stan Lee, right? Stan Lee, yeah. not Stan Lee. Yeah. Stan Lee. Yeah, right. Well. That Marvel weird guy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you probably did some stuff that's not legal anymore. Cool. Yeah, he's got some but the good... thing, yeah. yeah. Monopin? Uh-oh. Ket- uh oh. Ketamine. Oh, oh wait, no. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, despite Stan's baggage, uh your boy Scott Flansburg may have himself a segment. Oh wow. Whoa. That's looking... Scott Flansburg? Yeah. Look at him now, babies. How to add, subtract, oh, wow. That's very thin. But I'm here to meet a man who's <laughs> Just kidding. Mathematical power <laughs> bags, bags outside because it's cool shooting. I think Scott has aged well. Yeah, no, no, I agree. I agree. I do everything. Uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, square roots, cube roots, perpetual calendars. He's got algorithms. Maybe because I have the same, I have the same middle-aged dad haircut. Big fan of that. Classic Caesar. <laughs> oh, I remember those. Remember those guys? Oh yeah, yeah. the gimmies. Texas, Texas instrument. I took one home every day. Did you? <laughs> Probably. Stop admitting to crimes on the podcast. Oh yeah. <laughs> and now like kids. Knives and calculators. That's how I do it. The Statue of Liberty pack. Why is that older what is man that? there? What's that guy? He's the host. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's the calculator every time. He looks high. Scott's <laughs> math skills might impress grade school kids. Nice cargo pants. You're only hosting a TV show. You know, get dressed up. <laughs> Where are you? He's like, ton- He's like I, got t- I got tons of string cheese. San Diego State University math department. He's like, I can't wait till they invent vaping. What? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're too young. Compete with Scott's amazing ability. <laughs> right. We'll start with the Long multiplication sleeve. of two two-digit numbers. Oh, sure. Okay. Ready? The numbers are 39 nice boots. 78. Thanks. 302, 304. 304, 304, 304 is correct. Scott got it. <laughs> uh-huh. Scott's speed is baffling everyone in the room. Shut up, DJ. DJ Qualls says it. Scott is actually getting faster. This is hard to follow. Starting with a base of zero. I don't, and I don't know what they plan to accomplish in the next, uh, I don't know, minute. But. Oh, wow. He has honed his skills. <laughs> you can play Mario on that. You don't need to do that. <laughs> That's what he was doing. He's not doing the math. <laughs> he wrote boobs on it and turned it over. <laughs> what year is this? 2005? It is a particularly rare phenomenon. Oh, Tom Scott. There probably aren't more than a half dozen people in the world who have the nice lower third. Oh, yeah. Like me, Scott Flansburg. <laughs> Shout out History Channel. I can't wait till Discovery Plus calls to pick us up. Ooh, about time. The human oh, here we go. Totally hey, that would be good. We should be on the History Channel for infomercials. Yeah, you know what? We actually probably should be. Yeah, Ooh, shit. Is this a, is, oh, do you Let's see that? Well, we should put a pitch together for the History Channel. Yeah, we could definitely get a. We could definitely be on H two, yeah. right? Like the channel they don't care about, especially now that they're streaming and are just starving for content like everyone else. Yeah. Let's do it. We'll do it on spec, right? Yeah. Right? No, nah, we need to get paid. Night. Oh, yeah, yeah money, so money, History money, Channel. Money, money, money. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'll, listen. The we'll, only, read like, we'll read like a full book and then submit it as just a pitch. Whew. Well, know. that's it, guys. Yeah. That's all. The, that's all the good news I got for you this week. But um, it feels good to hang out with Mike Levy again. Yeah. He, I wish you could have brought one, like some of the cast of characters through. You know what I mean? Like you were saying, Mark. Like, not that it was just kids, but that it was almost like. I mean, I guess it's math in your head. That, what can you really do? Um, but like, 
they could have clowned it up a little bit, maybe like have Ian come out and just be like, I don't understand any of this. <laughs> yeah. it wasn't, maybe Scott Flansburg was like, no, even Ian will get it. So there wasn't work. anything funny about it. And I guess like if you're trying to sell math to parents to get to their kids, like, yeah, you gotta be super serious about it. Uh, but yeah, come on. Amazing Discoveries kind of has like, its its brand is kind of tongue in cheek, I think. I know. Yeah, sometimes Levy's got to pay the bills, man. Big, big math came calling, and he's, you know. Yeah, we'll we'll get into it next week, but I I disagree with you guys. I still appreciate. How do I still you? appreciate their game. Well, then game on, Dave. Ooh, <sighs> game on, game gamer, <sighs> game boy. I see you in the Ronnies, you son of a bitch. Ooh, no, I see you. No, I see you in the Ronnies. Right. For me, you're gonna see me All in the right. Ronnies. Yeah, see in the Ronnies with uh, Jake Paul huh? or something. I don't know. You see me in the Ronnies, huh? What? You talk to Scott Flansburg during the Ronnies. You can't huh? you come back and tell me it's what it is. Fucking guy. <laughs> it's what it is, guys. It's what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's what it is, guys. Okay, bye, boys. Thanks for counting with us. Bros. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Bye. Have fun at your apartment. Ma. Bye, boy. Thank you all for tuning in. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, or follow on your preferred podcast medium. And for all things Call Now, visit callnowpodcast.com. And if you want to connect with the boys, you can find them at callnowpodcast on Twitter and Instagram, or send them an email at callnowpodcast at gmail.com. And if you can't fight the urge to pick up the phone and call now, you can leave them a voice message at 617-356-7439. If you call in the next 30 minutes, you might just be the next star of Call Now. Thanks again for listening, and we hope you tune in next time to Call Now. Thank you for listening. This has been a B-plus effort. We'll try harder next time.